Hey, Mark Agnesi here again in the back room at Norman's Rare Guitars. And once again, it is time for Guitar of the Day. Quick update, some of the ones we've been doing. Uh, let's see, last Tuesday we did that uh, red Les Paul special, the double cut with that little heel repair we went and put under black light in Jen's office. Yeah, that's gone. Uh, oh, and the, uh, the Gibson Jumbo from Flat Top Friday. That one also has gone. Uh, that one has gone to a good home. Much great music and fantastic records will be made on that guitar. I'm very proud of where that one ended up. Uh, a good friend of ours. We've been doing this tradition on Thursdays recently about doing basses. I feel like uh, let's keep it going. I keep getting cool basses. I'm going to keep showing them to you. Come on back. This thing is from 1978. This is an original Music Man Stingray bass. Yeah, Music Man Stingray, not Ernie Ball, Music Man Stingray. This is before Ernie Ball was involved. Uh, this is cool, man. This is uh, kind of a revolutionary bass guitar. Um, you know, you think of the classic basses, you got the P bass, you got the jazz bass, you got the Rickenbacker 4001 bass, maybe the Gibson Thunderbird, and then like this is kind of right up there. Designed also by Leo Fender, by the way. Uh, this is one of Leo's designs. Let's talk about some of the rad features that this thing broke through uh, in terms of the bass world. Uh, for starters, this first bass ever to feature active electronics. Got the little 9 volt uh, battery compartment back here. That gives you, you know, sweepable, uh, boostable EQs. First bass in the world to ever do that, which is kind of cool. Uh, also, you got the 3-in-1 headstock. Also the first bass uh, to ever do that, throwing the G-string on the other side of the headstock. Said it was supposed to help uh, alleviate dead spots on the bass. Hey, there you go. Uh, a couple other cool things on this big chunk of alder body. Really, really massive heavyweight uh, steel bridge on these things. Uh, they also have these mutes that you can raise and lower by these things here. Obviously someone has removed uh, the mutes from this one. Uh, but uh, you can always put those little felts back on there if you want the string mutes. You got this big ass humbucking pickup that these Ernie Balls are known for. Uh, and of course the uh, oval pick guard. This one's in black on black with the maple neck. Uh, God, some of the guys who played these over the years. There's a long list of Stingray users. You got Flea. You got uh, Cliff Williams from ACDC. You've got, uh, dude, the list goes on. There's a lot of guys that played Stingray. This is one of the great basses of all times. Also, what's cool with this, this is still kind of early. Uh, we talk a lot about uh, the Ernie Ball serial numbers. This one still has a BO serial number um, from this uh, late part of the 70s. Once you get into uh, the 80s, these basses stop being string through and they start going to a top loader system. The string through ones are the ones that you want. These are the ones that everybody goes after. Uh, these are the most valuable ones, most sought after ones in the earliest examples. Uh, why don't we go out front? We're gonna hit it with the pick. We're gonna hit it with our fingers. Shit, I might even slap today. I'm a glutton for punishment in the comment section. I'm not a bass player, but I might even try to slap a little for you guys today. What do you say we go plug it in and see what kind of sounds it makes? All right, we're out front here. We've got the 1978 Music Man Stingray bass, black on black, maple neck. Uh, we got it going through uh, Ampeg SVT rig with the A10 cabinet, all the EQs at noon. No reverb on this thing. Uh, let's uh, hit it with our fingers really quick, see what kind of fat ass sounds we can get out of this guy here. Try a little slap and pop here. This is not my thing. Bass in general is not my thing, but uh, let's see what we can do with the old, the old slapping and the popping here. Let's see what this thing can do. You know, unplug from the SVT rig. We're going to go down here into a little Fender rumble amp. Need the overdrive channel for this here. Let's pick up the pick. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
from 1978. Original pre-Ernie Ball. Music Man Stingray Bass, original black on black, finished maple neck, one big ass humbucking pickup, active electronics. Check me out on Instagram at, at Mark Agnesi. Check out the store at, at Norman's Rare Guitars. Check this bass and the rest of these cool things out online at normansrareguitars.com. And we will see you guys tomorrow for another episode of Guitar Day. It's going to be a special flat top Friday tomorrow. Make sure you come by and uh, we'll see you guys then. Peace.